Well, we are seeing some encouraging signs. Retail investors banking on mutual funds for their investments. While equity funds continue to attract investors offering promising long-term returns, debt funds too are not far behind. Today, when we are witnessing volatile times in equity markets and hopes of rate cut making your debt funds look attractive, we help you manage and plan your investment on the show today with Anjanya Gotham, Vice President, Mutual Funds, Bajaj Capital. Thank you, Anjanya, for joining us here at Smart Money. Before we get into the investment mantras or how we should be looking at mutual funds and you know your equity and debt portfolio, so and so forth, let me first understand from you the emerging trends that we are seeing. With the volatile markets in the past, uh, there were concerns earlier. But is that trend uh, the same or uh, are, we, are we looking at more matured uh, investors this time around? Hi. Uh, thanks, Riel. Uh, in fact, uh, your uh, last line is actually very apt. We are actually seeing mature trend of investors coming in. Uh, I'll give you another insight into how we track trends. Most of the people generally when we track trends on the investment side, we look at transactions, volume, quantum of transactions, etc. Uh, there is another angle to it where we look at investor behavior, and that can be judged by the number of queries or questions we get from clients. So uh, internally, if, we, uh, uh, if I tell you that how we are seeing this trend emerging, uh, the number of portfolio downloads or views of their investments is something which is uh, which has gone up substantially over the last two to three months' time. So that simply means that clients are actually looking at their portfolio. So of course there is some bit of anxiety where clients are coming back and saying that what to do with my portfolio. There is a major chunk of investor who is coming and saying, fine, we are aware about the volatility in the market in the past. We have seen that uh, in over the last seven, eight years. Now we would like to understand where to go Rather than scheme, it's more so about what kind of allocation we should be having and how should we go about. So undoubtedly, it's a mature market and more so queries, a bit cautious, but of course, structured approach is what we are witnessing that clients are coming forward and asking for uh, these kind of questions. If you were to give a sense in terms of the SIP folios, uh, how are they growing? And for the interest of investors, uh, again to reiterate, if you were to guide why SIP makes sense. This is one strategy provided by mutual fund where you just have to decide one fixed amount which goes out your bank account on a monthly basis or a weekly basis as you feel comfortable. Most preferred is the monthly because that's uh, that's where the alignment with your salary comes in. So uh, And it goes out of your bank account and automatically gets invested in uh, various options that you decide. So another angle which I would like to uh, bring in here is mutual fund or SIP is not limited to only equity market. Off late, we have seen another uh, uh, dimension which is coming up is investment uh, in SIP in debt-oriented products, not only equity. I'll give you the reason for that of the, or the principle why many of the people are opting for that. Like just to give you an example, insurance policy is uh, premium payment is generally annual. Many times car premium, car uh, insurance premium or uh, car renewal and all these things are annual in mode. Some of the cases, school fees are annual uh, uh, in, in many of the cases. So these expenses, if you try and take out at one go, it becomes difficult. While through a mutual fund SIP route, many of the people opt for investment options which are debt-oriented, no equity allocation, go for these options. Monthly save a fixed amount. Just suppose you want 50,000, you save 4,500 rupees per month. By the year end, you would be having somewhere close to 50,000 rupees. And you can just pull out money from here and make the payment for whatever you need. At the same time, on a longer period, we have seen uh, SIP delivering better returns than many most of the uh, other options. I'll give you one example. Say, go two years back when markets were not looking so very great. People who had done three years kind of SIP, they were looking at still looking at 8 to 10 percent return. Comparative to bank, of course, they were better because 8 to 10 percent in bank, taxable versus 8 to 10 percent here, was tax free. But now, considering the last uh, 20, 24 months uh, upward movement in the market, these SIPs are in excess of 20 percent compounded return over the period. So, uh, say, uh, over five to seven years period, if 80, 80,000 rupees has been invested, 1,000 a month, is now more than a two lakh rupees. So that's one small example of power of uh, compounding which plays very well in SIP uh, strategy. As regard to numbers, I would say 
with maturity coming on the investor side and market side both, we are seeing a major change in the SIP, which is one is, of course, debt SIP is coming in. Second is SIP tenor being higher. Earlier, many of the investors used to opt for one year or three years kind of SIP. Now, people are actually looking for 15 year, 20 year kind of SIP, which is where the power of compounding plays really well. Anjaria, uh, you mentioned about uh, the SIP route now being looked also for the debt funds. Debt funds are at a very attractive stage at this point in time, owing to the expectations of a possible rate cut. Uh, what is the advice that you would like to give to investors who are probably wanting to look at debt funds and also more so in light of the kind of taxation changes that we are seeing in the debt fund category. So if you look at debt category, you have liquid funds, which are more or less like any time liquidity, 24 hours money, you might get money back. You have short term funds, which are say 6 to 12 months kind of investment period. There are funds which are called long term funds or duration funds. They are the ones which get benefit or impact of interest rate movement, which is uh, uh, in line with what you mentioned that uh, they, if interest rate cut happens. So this category is the one which gets benefited. At the same time, over the last five, six years, mutual fund industry on the debt side has matured and evolved where they have created a couple of new categories like corporate bond funds or capital protection oriented funds. So these are also debt funds or bond funds where allocation is in, in uh, such a way that you get at least your principal back plus a more than inflation kind of return. So consistency of return is one thing which comes in in, uh, in capital protection and uh, corporate bond funds. Now, talking about the interest rate movement and imp impact on the debt funds, uh, if you feel interest rates are going to go down, duration funds make sense. If you feel you are not sure of whether you can take call on the interest rates, whether, you are, whether interest rates are going to go down or not, you better go for capital protection or corporate uh, bond fund kind of products, which are typically three years uh, in horizon. Uh, they, of course, have the liquidity on the corporate bond, but the capital protection are closed and dead in nature. So these are the ones which do not get affected much by the interest rate. And uh, three year being the, the minimum period, so your taxation also is better off because you get into the long-term territory of the taxation. So which is where, uh, with indexation benefit, your returns are definitely better than the bank deposit returns. But uh, in the last few years, we've seen the retail investors' interest in the debt fund category, yet a lot of it is, uh, you know, corporate money also going into the debt fund side. Uh, coupled with the fact that there are, of course, uh, uh, you know, some concerns that have emerged over the last few, uh, you know, weeks as far as the debt fund investments. For investors, so looking at the debt fund category, how best that they can judge if their debt funds or the papers that uh, uh, their funds are investing in are safe and sound? Right. It's a very apt question because uh, considering the uh, some concerns which have been shared uh, over the last 15-20 uh, days, so uh, specific to some funds, where uh, the 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 uh, uh, the quality of the papers they held were questioned. Now, if you see, there are two kinds of risk on any debt fund. One is the risk of getting lesser return. Second is risk of get, losing some bit of principal. So, if you see in mutual fund, first risk still can be there, but the second risk gets mitigated. Uh, which is the loss of principal gets reduced because mutual fund follow a principle of diversification. So which is where instead of you buying one bond or two bonds, mutual funds buy say 20, 30 or different company bonds. So in case if there is one company which moves out or which does not pay your money, you still have an impact of say 2 to 3 percent only, while majority of your part of your portfolio still holds true. Which in case if you go only for one or two uh, bonds and one company fails, then you are actually exposed to a much bigger uh, principal loss uh, in that case. While here, in mutual fund case, uh, the decision taken by the fund manager, who is the person who is getting paid for managing your money, he is, of course, much more qualified and informed than many of us individuals uh, who takes an informed call. And, uh, of course, they may also falter sometimes, which, in fact, we have seen in uh, the last fortnight. So. But uh, majority of the cases, uh, these things get reduced because of the diversification side of it. And uh, one thing which I, I would suggest is whenever you look at the portfolios, uh, you should be looking at rating side of it, where rating should be more towards the AAA, which is considered to be the highest on the rating side or the safety side. Uh, portfolios closer to higher rating side are, uh, are the ones which will not give you sleepless nights, uh, the way uh, we are talking about this 
the risk on the portfolio of certain schemes which uh, of late has disturbed many of the people on this side. All right, uh, Anjanya, thank you so much for joining us here at Smart Money and giving your views and guidance uh, to our viewers. Well, time now for a quick break to get our expert opinion on your finances. Email us, call us, SMS us or tweet us. After the break, we guide you on how a systematic route helps you achieve your goals. Keep watching Smart Money.